Hi everyone, this is Fern. Oh, geez, I have no clue how to do intros. <laughs> but this video is actually just to talk about this uh, new uh, interface that I got and basic first impressions. On top of that, it's also a hello world because this is my first video on my channel. Uh, honestly, <laughs> things will change as I keep, as I write. For now, let's just get into the quick and dirty about this little thing. Now, I don't do band stuff anymore. I don't need to record anything over two channels at once. So this little interface is more than enough because most of the stuff that I do right now is EDM and I compose music and I want to post some of that material here on this channel. <clears throat> I sound nasally. I'm ranting. <clears throat> I'm ranting, aren't I? <laughs> so, here it is. It has eight inputs by four outputs, which is very handy if you want to do uh, dual speakers or you want to do, if, or if you want to do sends, which is also very uh, useful. Features, USB-C, which is uh, really uh, convenient considering a lot of new technology laptops, even PCs or phones, uh, everything's hooked up via USB-C, which is fantastic. Now, it does not mean it is USB-3, but the protocol is usb 2.0. So make sure you don't get that mixed up. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's 3.0. No, it's it's 2.0. Just like your old. Uh, how many? How much? How, how, regardless of how old USB 2.0 protocol is and the slow speeds, the audio interface does not need that much bandwidth, considering it only has eight inputs and four outputs. So that's perfectly fine. The unique features about this guy has, they highlight quite a bit on the website and on the box, uh, zero latency, but it's not so much zero latency. It's more about mixing the direct input signal to your output. The first knob on the left here is monitor mix. So you can mix the, the signal, the incoming signal to the output, which blends whatever you're recording or tracking into your output channels. But also depending on your PC, you know, if, you have, if it's if powerful enough, you can reduce the buffer latency from, I don't know, 10, 1026 or 1012, something like that, all the way down to 256 to reduce the delay on the output. So that's a that's a really a cool feature. Um, it has a big fatty knob, <laughs> which is really cool. I like the, the idea of having a big fatty tactile knob instead of like a tiny little thing to control your, your volume. So that's really cool. Um, it has two headphone outputs, so they can both be routed to outputs one and two or outputs three and four, which means you can have, let's say a singer, and route separate mix to their headphone and you have your own specific mix. Really awesome. Inputs one, two, three, and four can be phantom powered. So that's the phantom powered uh, switches are here. Everything you hear now is my microphone being recorded through this directly into the uh, M-Track. And it sounds pretty good. The direct monitor button here at the top left is really cool. So audio signal flow 101 is all of your odd numbered signal. If you're running a stereo output, all of your odd numbers, so one, three, six, five, seven, yada, 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 will always be sent to the left speaker. And then your even ones will be sent to the right. Right now, my microphone is being recorded on channel one. So if I had this on stereo, then my voice would be on my left. So mono helps send that signal to both uh, left and right. So it's very, very obviously very useful if you were tracking a singer because you don't want them to hear themselves through the left or through the right only. Two things that I don't like so far, the gain on this has to be turned all the way up before you can see some any significant level. The gain really starts to kick in when you get close to the top. I can clearly hear myself perfectly fine, but I want to test it out with, on, with some instruments to see what the real, uh, what these preamps are going to sound like. Because right now this is a general general impression of this device overall. And so far there are more pluses than minuses. Uh, it sounds really good. So the last thing I have to add to this is, which is a love-hate relationship. I really do like how sleek and small it is. It has a, a, a glossy piano black finish on the top. It is a fingerprint magnet sadly. So don't touch the glossy top unless you have gloves or you plan to clean it consistently. So I'm just like finger tipping the knobs when I'm dialing anything in general. Yeah, there we go. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Until next time. My ending is much better than my intros. <laughs>